What's up, guys? Welcome back to Marxist Economics. In this video, we're going to talk about the labor theory of value. Let's go. It should be noted right away that modern analytical Marxist economists accept the laws of supply and demand as determinants of price. However, they still consider the labor theory of value as being a valid tool for analysis. This is because the labor theory of value isn't a tool for understanding the determination of price. Rather, it's a tool for understanding the distribution of value, how much of the revenue from the product goes to workers, means of production, and which profits are paid out and which aren't. Though there are more complicated definitions of values like use value and exchange value, which we won't be covering, the definition of value we'll be using to understand labor theory is a specific part of the sale price, which goes to workers, materials, or the capitalist, meaning the employer. So mathematically, the labor theory of value can be represented in one of two ways. The first way is P is equal to C plus V plus SV, where P is the price of a commodity, it's worth, C are the payments made to constant capital, machinery, V are the payments made to labor or variable capital, SV is surplus value or payments made to the capitalist, which is profit. The second way is TL is equal to EL plus LL plus SL. This way it goes and shows how a product is made up of complete labor over here, where TL is the total labor in a commodity, which is its worth. EL is the embodied labor or dead labor, which is the machinery and materials used to produce that product. LL is the living labor, which makes reference to the workers. SL is the surplus value, which we, again is profits. EL plus LL is sometimes referred to as a single term called NL, which is necessary labor. It's important to note, as previously stated, that the labor theory of value is not a theory of price, but a theory of how worth in an article is paid out to different means of production. The labor theory of value is used to construct indices of capitalist exploitation. The main indexes or formulas constructed from the labor theory of value are the rate of exploitation, which is Q is equal to SV all over V, which is the ratio of unpaid labor or payments to the capitalists to paid labor, which are payments to workers. The index of mechanization, which is the second one, which is C all over V plus C, which is a measure of how much cost and capital is used in the production process. Our third one is the rate of profit, which is R is equal to SV all over V plus C, which is the ratio of unpaid labor to means of production, right? There's a second version of this rate of profit formula, which I'm not gonna get into the derivation of, but it was made by an American Marxist economist named Paul Sweezy. This is R is equal to our rate of exploitation times one minus our index of mechanization, right? There's a couple of interesting interpretations that you can go and make from it but uh, I'm not gonna get into that in this video. So this is the basic introduction to the labor theory of value. I'll see you in the next one.